from Hoffman Shave and Soap Company, Merlin Shave Soap. We're going to build a lather with it, and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MarkerGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Great to see you again. As I always say, I love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new shave soap in the shave den. Really outstanding scent. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, brand new shave soap from Hoffman's Shave and Soap Company. This is Merlin Shave Soap. Check out that art right there on the label. Look at that. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, I'm telling you, the scent is as outstanding as that art. Really, really terrific, masculine, adventurous kind of scent. Also very refined, has a gentlemanly quality to it. Really, really terrific. Uh, top scent notes are grapefruit and coriander. Middle notes are cedar, ginger, and labdanum. And the base notes are patchouli, vetiver, and tobacco. I, this is really, really a nice scent. Like it a lot. Brand new pot. We're going to put some hot water in there right now. Let me just get some hot water in there. I'm going to just get the brush out of the way because we're putting some hot water in there. Okay, and we're going to do a classic lather. I call it a classic lather. You might want to call it something else. I'm going to do a brush load uh, in the puck, and then I'm going to build the lather in my Starry Night uh, lathering bowl that I received from viewer Beth Jones. Thank you again very much, Beth. Let's see how this soap base performs. Now, we've done a, a face lather with another Hoffman's Shave and Soap Company uh, shave soap. Uh, that was uh, Burn the Ships. And I believe these are the both both of these shave soaps have the same soap base. So I'm going to do a bowl lather this time around with Merlin, and I'm really looking forward to it. I know it's going to lather great. Check out what they say on their product page about Merlin shave soap. Seeking vengeance for what was done to himself and his kind, the dragon launched an attack on Camelot that lasted several days. He was eventually stopped by Merlin, who had inherited his father's dragon lord abilities and use them to order Kilgara away from Camelot. Merlin to us, and maybe to many others, is that classic tale of overcoming wraths of fire from immovable forces. It's our David and Goliath tale. Yeah, very, and that really is very inviting to the shave soap. I read that, and as I mentioned in the Monday Morning Mailbag, big, big fan of T.H. White's The Once and Future King, which is all about King Arthur and the legend of Camelot and Merlin and Lancelot and Guinevere. Yeah, so that, when I saw the label art, again, I'll show it to you again, when I saw the label art and I just saw that it was called Merlin, I mean, that just pulled me in immediately. And uh, how can you, I mean, how can you not? I mean, that's just, everyone is familiar with the tale. So because of Merlin, because of Camelot, we're going to keep everything uh, in that theme of England. We're going to use my Edwin Jagger 316 safety razor, obviously because it's made in England. The uh, shaving brush is going to be from the same neck of the woods, the Simpson Trafalgar T3. That's over, it's uh, crafted over there on the Isle of Man. Uh, I'm going to also use a uh, London Bridge razor blade, yeah, for obvious reasons, right? And uh, we're going to finish it off with an Allen block from Phoenix Shaving with a no-slip grip and the dry dock system. And we're going to also use some of the Merlin aftershave right here. Yeah, I have not, I have not opened this up yet. It's going to be a scent. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful scent. I know it will. And also for upstairs, a little bit of Hawkins and Brimbles. This is from across the pond as well, courtesy of Simon Hazanoffs. Thank you very much again, Simon. So that's kind of got everything. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit of this shave soap, right, this water, hot water here, and I'm going to place that right in there. And we're going to get the water here from the 
lathering bowl, Starry Night lathering bowl. I'm just going to leave a little bit of a little bit of water remnant in there. We're going to take this brush and we're going to go ahead and do a brush load and then transfer it over to the bowl and do and build our lather. That's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to get a really, really good brush load here. Now, this is a five ounce puck and it's listed on the Hoffman's Shave and Soap Company uh, site for $21. All right. Again, just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful scent. So I'm going to get a good, good brush load, and I'm going to get it going until I start to see a cream there a little bit around the edges, and I'm going to go right over to the lathering bowl. And we're not going to use any pre-shave. We're just going to use this shave soap. Uh, I'm going to build that lather in the bowl, and then... Look at that. Wow. That's just wonderful. Look at that. Just it's I can I can just see the the brush is just loading up very nicely. Okay, so now now we're going to take it in the high gear here. That's enough right there. Make sure my hands are nice and dry because it looks like a very very slick soap. And we're going to go ahead and start building that lather right here and look at that. I haven't added, I have not added any water yet. There's a little bit of water in the bottom of this bowl here. A few drops after I dumped it out. But there it is right there. Wow, that's nice. This brush is doing a really nice job. This is the T3 with a 26 millimeter knot. Now, the bowl has this wonderful base that I can grab hold of. Uh, after I am done building this lather and then uh, using the brush to paint it on and maybe do a little bit of face lathering, kind of exfoliate the skin and lift the whisker, um, I'm not going to touch the bowl again because I don't want it to slip out of my hand. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous lathering bowl. And look at that. Look at how that has just generated all of that wonderful lather right there. I could say, boom! Lather, yeah, <laughs> really, really amazing. Uh, and I didn't have to add a lot of just a damp brush and a few drops of water in the bottom of the lathering bowl. And look at that, my gosh! So you got these nice raised dimples on the bottom there, also throughout the entire lathering bowl. It's a Starry Night uh, Dotty uh, lathering bowl, so that gives a lot of nice friction and resistance to really build the lather. Okay, I'm going to set it down right there. And we are going to go ahead and wet the face and get to the shape. Okay, again, I'm going to let that sit right there on the counter. I'm not going to, I am not going to lift that back up. I'm just going to go ahead and get this ladder and paint that on and maybe do a couple of swirls there just to lift the whisker a little bit. I mean, look at that. I mean, there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of lather there. My goodness. Look at that. The scent is wonderful. Again, the scent is masculine, adventurous, refined. Gentlemanly, sophisticated, it really is all those things. I guess with a name like that, like, like Merlin, you could also say it's magical. But it does harken back to those days of Camelot. Knights in shining armor. I mean, it evokes all that, it really does. Look at that. Look at how much... By the way, I have two days worth of beard growth that we're going to get around here. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? So let's leave it on the face there. And again, I'm not going to pick up the lathering bowl. That's going to be there. Let's get my blade. Right here, London Bridge blade. And uh, open that up. Oh boy, I haven't used these in a while. Double wrap. That's nice. I'm going to set it down right there. Let's get my... Uh, 316 from Edwin Jagger stainless steel razor. Let's get that open there like that. Let's get this blade here. Okay, 
There it is. London Bridge Super Stainless. Right there. Okay. Here's the cap right there. I'm going to lay that, yeah, London Bridge. Okay, I'm going to lay that in there. And I'm also kind of testing the, the lather here on my face, letting it moisturize the face a little bit. Base plate right there. Making sure it's not going to fade and it's not fading at all. It's there. <laughs> There's the handle there. All right. Okay, end tabs are enclosed in the razor head. Just a little, you can feel them just a little bit. Okay. All right. Balance and alignment, spot on. All right, we're all set. Gonna heat this up under some hot, 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 hot water and get right to the shave. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Nice glide, nice protection, really terrific lather. Yeah, that's great. Blade has a nice sharpness to it. I don't believe it's a platinum coated blade. But there's no tugging or pulling. Okay. Really nice. Nice job getting up underneath the nostrils there. I'll get the rest of it on the east to west pass. First pass done. Let's rinse. I'm on the cusp of being socially acceptable, to be perfectly honest with you. It's a nice, mild razor. And I got a little bit of uh, water on the face here. Should help the lather. Look how much I've got there. All I got to do is just paint it on. Look at that. Look at that. Just paint it on. And I got... I mean, lather just, and it's, what's nice is it's not fading in the uh, in the bowl. It stays nice and dense and rich and creamy, so I can look at look how much I have. I mean, <laughs> I have a, my goodness, and I have more. I have more in there. Oh my gosh, I have so much more in there. Really a wonderful, wonderful lathering soap. I mean, there's, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing how much lather generated with this brush, bowl, and soap. Really did a wonderful, wonderful job. Okay, so uh, let's go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. This is usually my money pass. I'll know after this whether or not the shave is done. Now we were all right on the cusp of being socially acceptable. Uh, this could be this could this could really take me to the point of having the shave done. We'll see. Wow, that's nice. Very very nice. Right around the chin nicely. No tugging or pulling there at all on the neck. Terrific. Again, I don't think this is a, a chromium or platinum coated blade, but the lather and the protection is really making up for that lack of a coating on the blade, in my view.
Well, nice residual slickness. Nice residual slickness to allow me to do a little bit of extra buff touch up there. Second pass done. Let's rinse. Yeah, this shave is done. <laughs> this shave is done. There's a lot here on the brush and in the shaving bowl. You know what? I am I'm going to break my rule. I'm going to show it to you because I wiped my hand off here. But you can see right here how much I have here. I mean, you can see look right here. Look at that. Look at how much I have left over. Look at that. I mean, it's amazing. Okay, I'll set it down very, very carefully. It's a beautiful, beautiful lathering bowl, and it just did a fantastic job in helping to generate that lather. Two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. All righty. A lot of nice slickness there that I had to get off my face. Just terrific, terrific slickness. Really nice, nice result. Here is uh, my cold water rinse, just waiting for it to cool down a little more. Okay, cold water rinse. Oh, that's marvelous. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Beautiful shave. Really wonderful, wonderful shave. Nice result. Really nice, nice, nice smooth shave. I'm really delighted how smooth it was because as I say, the blade is not a chromium or platinum coated blade, which I prefer. But because it's London Bridge, you know, I wanted to use it keeping the theme of Old England, King Arthur, Camelot, that sort of thing. Uh, really, uh, <laughs> the, the, the shave soap did a wonderful job in giving me good protection, good cushion, nice glide. Um, Nice, nice slickness. We're going to use the aloe block now. We're going to some cold water. Let's see what kind of feedback we get. Very nice. Uh, maybe a little, maybe a handful of zings. Some good bracing. I mean, just overall a nice result, and I'm so glad to get rid of the two days worth of beard growth. Absolutely delighted to have <laughs> to have that beard growth gone. Okay, dry dock system goes in there like that. Let the air in the room do the rest of the job and letting that uh, dry out. Okay, again, I showed it to you. I won't show you the bowl. I'm not going to pick up the bowl because for obvious reasons. I would hate to have that slip out of my hand. It's just going to sit here. And usually when I use this off camera, I just, you know, it's very easy just to whip up a lab and then set it down and then use it that way. I want to show it to you on camera, but I do want to be cautious. All right, here, look at this brush. Look how much I have here. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, enough for a third pass, a fourth pass. Look, look, look. That is magical. <laughs> look at that, huh? That is awesome. That is really, really awesome. That is really, really fantastic. Yeah, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Uh, just a fantastic, fantastic, rich, creamy, thick, yogurty uh, lather that was generated. Really, really very, very nice. You know, let's just uh, wipe this off here a little bit, this container here. Okay, and I, like I say, they give you a lot. They give you five ounces, it's $21. And this one also is uh, made in, uh, I believe this is, uh, 
I believe, yeah, made by, this is made with uh, Hendrix Classics, made in cooperation with Hendrix Classics. So it is the same soap base as Burn the Ships, uh, from what I understand. I'm making an assumption there, but I don't think I'm too far off. And look how well it bowl lathered. And if you saw the previous review of Burn the Ships, you saw how well it face lathered. So it's got all the bases covered, and it's just absolutely fantastic. And the scent of this is marvelous, really is marvelous. I'm going to shake that up a little bit because I don't know... What's inside? Okay, ooh, there, we're gonna crack that open. Okay, oh, it's got some tape on there. Hang on, you might see an edit here <laughs> as I get the tape off. Yeah, it's taped on there, okay. I should have undone the tape prior to starting the camera. I did not see that, my apologies. Okay, I'm gonna take it off like that, okay. All right, okay, okay, here we go. That guy goes back in there like that. Okay, see that there's tape on the cap there to keep it from spilling out. Okay, so here it is right here. And uh, again, I'm going to shake that up a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, that's terrific. All right. You know, that's, that's a great scent. And this does have some moisturizing qualities to it. Feels really, really nice on the skin. Wow, that's terrific. I'm going to have to check the ingredients on that. Uh, it's got alcohol fragrance. Uh, I'm not sure, but boy, that feels good. That feels 100 milliliters right there. 100 milliliters. I don't know what the I don't know what the uh, all the ingredients are, but that is a nice, nice moisturizing quality. Promise the promise to use the Hawkins and Brimbles and Brimble and we use we will although I think very much you could use the Merlin uh, for uh, upstairs too if you want okay Hawkins and Brimble kind of warm here in the uh, shave den it is summer probably should have done a cold water shave that'll be next <laughs> with these with the Hoffman, Hoffman's Shave Soaps. No doubt about it. Okay, I gotta really work that in a little too much, maybe. Or it could be also the remnant I had on my hands from the Merlin Aftershave. So maybe the two of them combined are giving me a lot of nice moisturizing quality. Okay, I think that's pretty much got it. Okay, we'll probably see a little bit there. Okay. We'll just do that like this, and then we'll take off that. There we go. Yeah. And hang on one minute. I'm going to get this tape off here so that it'll, uh, one minute. Well, I'll have to get it later, but I am going to put the cap back on. Okay, it'll go back on. I'll just take the tape off later. All right. <laughs> Great. Great shave, really wonderful. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. The scent is marvelous. The soap base is great. Builds a lather, a wonderful lather, whether you're doing a face lather or a bowl lather. The aftershave is fantastic. And they tape the cap down to make sure it doesn't spill out. So just be aware of that when you do order it, uh, which is a nice touch. I just should have removed it before the cameras rolled. I apologize for the delay in lapping things up because of that tape on the cap, but an absolutely fantastic, fantastic shave soap, another great scent, uh, and another great performing uh, shave soap from the folks at Hoffman, Hoffman's Shave and Soap Company. Merlin Shave Soap, five ounces, $21. It's available now. Check it out. I'll have links below. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the great artisans that you see on the bottom of the screen. They make some fantastic shave soap. They offer some wonderful, wonderful shaving gear. Really, they are top notch with some top shelf uh, gear and shave soaps that will really, really enhance your shave and make it all the more enjoyable. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash marks or 80 where you'll find all the products I review in this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.